Hello Semper, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today I'm going to show you a great masculine card. Um, it's perfect for um, people in the service, and I'm going to share with you how I done this here, the camouflage. So let's get started. We're going to use the stamp set, Ribbon of Courage. I know many people, when they saw that, they were thinking breast cancer. Well, I did a presentation uh, last spring and I use it for many things. Um, I'm going to put a, a link on my blog too. You can see many of them. Oh, not the ribbon one. Not the one with the detail there. The plain one. And uh, we're going to learn how to um, emboss with color even if we don't have the embossing color first. So I need a yellow ribbon. Um, so you want to get your ink ready. I want Daffodil Delight. So we're going to open this and I get Versamark. And what we're going to do is ink with Versamark first. Make sure you get plenty of Versamark because that's what's going to make it sticky for the powder. Now I'm going to go in my uh, Daffodil Delight. And we're going to stamp that right here. Oops. Voila. Now I'm going to take clear powder. And by the way, this is shimmer white. I don't know if I said that yet or not. But it is shimmer white. And you want to do that kind of quick before it dry. Because it's not like a pigment ink. Well, we get the Versamark, but it's just a little layer of Versamark. Now we're going to tap this and it looked like my powder it's on it we're going to use the heat tool oops keep it on and you're going to see it start turning shiny that means the powder did absorb on it and it's melting on your paper here we go so you can emboss in any color that you get as long as you get your Versamark and uh, the coloring that you want to have your embossing and you're going to have all the color of uh, embossing you wish for with your ink and Versamark. Voila! So now that is done. We will, um, let me close this. We're going to do a camouf camouf camouflage now. Here we go. Let's take our aqua painter and for this one, I got some powder here. I want crumb cake. I want chocolate chip. And all olives. Something happened to my chocolate chip. And now I'm gonna, this is the aqua painter, so you just put the water in. Just close it and what I'm going to do first it's just make sure my water it's coming out here so you just squeeze a little bit I just going to wet my paper a bit so it's going to go faster here we go oh I open all that but really squeeze I should have brought the re-anchor but I think we can do it without the re-anchor this one I get re-anchor in and squeeze here we go so now I'm going to start with my green here and I'm just going to see it's just pool a bit and it's running and that's why with the water that make it more spread out easier. Even if you get different um, tone don't worry about it that's really you want mixed color. Okay now we're going to use I need my red. I'm going to use the chocolate chip and I can tell I'm going to need more of the green here so let me grab a bit more green even if you go on the yellow don't worry about that it's going to come right off okay now I'm going to wipe my I just wiped this on a rag here. I'm going to get uh, some of my crumb cake and that it's pretty much filling it in. 
So I just going to go fill that in and we're going to come back with the color that where we're going to see we're going to need more. See it's just marbleized. I see I need quite a bit more green there. Okay, where I get a lot of water uh, pooling there, we're going to dab that a bit. So now we can finish our colors. Oops, I had blue there. We're going to fix that. Let me grab some green here. Here we go. So now, if the darker that you want it, you're just going to come back and add some color. See, I just marbleized that. That's it. And you're going to have all different color. And I try to go, you know, a bit of zigzag someplace. This, I can tap this a bit too much water. Here we go. So now you get the clue how I done that. The, the trick is really to have a better image. It's to let dry in between so it's not all full of that water. But then you want some water to spread that out so you just don't have some blah of those color. So now I'm going to come back with just a little bit of the green here. Now really the trick would be to take... Now I'm going to make sure I don't have the the green in there I had green I'm going to squeeze a bit more and I'm going to do a wash of the crumb cake to fill that all up so see to wash the end of it I just come with my crumb cake and try to fill this up because I don't want no white really and you see my paper it's all kind of um different shape we're going to fix that in a minute okay here we go right here can use a bit of brown right there so you can play as much as you want with it or as little as you want okay now let's i want more Okay, now let's take our heat tool and we're going to dry that. I see here I can use something here. I think that's going to be pretty good when it's dry. I see a few spots do that on the side and I think that this needs to be really covered on the side. Here we go. Now, to make your paper go flat again, take your paper, take your heat tool, and we're going to eat that on both sides. Okay, this keep on coming here. Here we go. So i just going to, oops, one thing though first, you have to take a rag and wipe your, uh, here we go, wipe your um, ribbon. I'm going to eat the that a bit this way. When you see you don't have really no more water, turn that around. And that's going to do the trick to bring it back flat. Here we go. See how flat it's coming back now? So you just have to both sides keep on rotating it. And that's going to bring it flat completely. Et voila. And now for the rest of the card, what I done, okay, this was two and three eight, no, two and five eight by three and five eight. And we got that on two and three quarter by three and three quarter on um, chocolate chip. So let's mount that together. And then we're going to take the timeless texture. Let me put that right here.
and in the tiniest texture I'm using this one here and that we're going to use that on crumb cake and on crumb cake cardstock and my cardstock I cut it four and a quarter by eleven score at five and a half and let's use crumb cake on crumb cake and I'm just going to do the top here and the side just to add some character a little bit and then instead of you're amazing that was part of the watercolor wish it's not available anymore i want to thank you so i'm using thankful thoughts the thank you in there and that we're going to use chocolate chip oh the set was not even put together see it's my first time using this one i'm going to try to put that straight Here we go, make sure I'm on the right side. I'm going to put that right at the bottom here. I got my nice thank you there. And then I got a piece of old olive that measure one by five and a half. And this one I had embossed it with the brick. This one I just left it plain. We're going to mount that right over here. I'm just trying to bring all the colors together that it's in my camouflage there. And then we're gonna mount that with dimensional. So I get my dimensional here. Oops. Here we go. And then inside, I'm going to stamp the, whoops, here we go. Inside, we're going to stamp the arrow one. I think that it will be perfect with this. So we're going to take our guy here. Again, that's one stamp that I thought I used that stamp before. So I'm just going to put that in crumb cake. So we're going to use our crumb cake, but I'm going to use crumb cake, but then stamp off first. Make sure it's ink all the way. Stamp off, and then I'm going to come back here and stamp right here. Et voila. So I still have the place to write, but then I get this in the back of it. So I think it finished the card perfectly fine. See, as it dry, all it's all our camouflage. It's very, uh, first it looked like it's a mess, but look, voila. So you can put as many uh, green or whatever you want. It's just, just blend it a little bit. But at the beginning, it's great if you wet it a bit. So when you start touching the ink, it's going to spider web a bit. This is it for my camouflage. Thank you for joining me. And again, all my color and supplies would be on my blog. Just click above. And I'm going to share other, um, I'm going to put the link that I had shared from my presentation in Shreveport that I done with this, that it's really not for the ribbon of courage. Like I got a fish, I got an angel and so on. This is it for now, my friend. Hope you enjoy it. You can give me the thumbs up if you like it. Till next time, happy stamping.